do have a loader coming. That was in. That was in. Uh, um, it's going. It's going to be roughly three hundred thousand for a loader, and that's included in in that money. So what we're wanting to do is, since we can't get new trucks that we that was covered for, we'd like to take that and buy some used used equipment that we can replace some of our old equipment. Um, and that's that's what I'm asking. Excuse me if I'm wrong, but can we because yeah. an encumbrance has to have a bill, that's like what Tony talked about. And those bills were included in the encumbrance, that's why you got the encumbrance. Mm -hmm. So they're used the encumbrance is used for a certain purpose. So you can't change the purpose. So what I would do is no money is going to go into your account, but you still have money in your account, you could do an additional for those used tracks. Um, but what, um, I see what you're saying. The, the loader that was ordered is still covered. You so, can use it for that. Okay. What's the What's the remaining, after the loader is paid for, what's the remaining of that money that was encumbered? It would be about, Somebody had to present a bill or a purchase order to us. So a purchase order was made, but how do we get from a purchase order was made to now they canceled it? Or well, and this is the way it's explained to me. I haven't found a purchase order, but um, the, we whoever ordered them um, called and said, "This is what we want." And but I guess after talking to them. Since I've been in there, um, he said that they are not, they're not currently making those trucks right now, uh, tandems and single axles, maybe bigger ones. And they, I guess they sell more of those than they do. Um, we wouldn't be able to get a new one until late 24, maybe maybe 24, but late uh, in the 25. So and that's that's why I was asking him. That's so that's going to be the thing that we need to clarify because this is what yeah. could happen. If if we've encumbered this money for, I'm just going to call it 400,000 for these trucks, and we say, and then you say they're canceled. We need some kind of verification of that because if we then, if we now appropriate you another 400,000 because you're going to buy something else, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden these trucks show up mm -hmm. because somebody before you said we want them and here's a purchase order for them, then we got then we got paid both. Right. And yeah. and that's what we have to avoid. And yeah. and when we talked to them before we decided to try to do these other vehicles or equipment, he said he told us um, that um, they're not accepting sec accepting them. If we want to we can get out of that. Okay. We just yeah. need some verification okay. of that. I mean, like, we would need a something in writing from them saying that we're canceling this order. Okay. But the, the order is canceled. You, 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 we have no liability. He said since it worked out that way, if we want out of it, we can get out of it. Okay. And we told him, we would let him know because we wanted to see what happened with this. Um, so we can call him and tell him, you know, just cancel the drugs. 
We still have the, the 98 grader, but they assessed it and said they gave us 40000 more. Um, so we can get the 2015, about the same size. Um, it's got the uh, joysticks, so you can see uh, have the uh, levers you have to work through. Um, with, let me see if I can say this right. Ours has 22000 on it, and this one has 8000 That's after the trading value, or, or did you take that off? Take the forty thousand yeah. off. Yeah, you know, that's that's with trading. Okay. Yeah. Is it come up one hundred and sixty thousand or something like that? One hundred sixty seven thousand before the trading. So he would just need to get estimates, and when they do locate a truck, then come and then just ask for an additional one. But he's going to get the additional anyway. I assume that he's going to spend the equipment at some point. Mm -hmm. So we would have to make that, advertise that additional. So Correct. But that's his it. next motion. Right? Yeah. That's his next. Yeah. So the question for the council is, I mean, when you find one, do you have to like buy it right now? or? Um, no, I mean, not really. I'm, we just kind of want to be okay. So, I mean, we're not going to get anything like right now, but um, even though we do the deal or whatever. I was just kind of wanting the money so we can, as we find them, we can so that go ahead. Yes, yes, you need, you need it to appropriate. Yeah. We'd like to, yes. 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 Mm. What's the, what's, how much is the different? Well, I, I think, not money, just to sit down and talk about which one is yeah. mm -hmm. okay. um, Because I do find other road equipment under the Cambridge, mm -hmm. your local road street, and regular highway. Where we bought our other loader from. How much is that one? <coughs> this loader is going to be right around $300,000. depends on the delivery cost. Because the delivery cost might be locked in. So, um, Josh, could you see that's why I say it's going to be right around $300,000. So, if they find one that is immediate, well, so what I think, what I think I need to do is reverse <coughs> all the encumbrances. And then start from the start. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Can you do that? 
that without the documentation that we need from that? I'd rather have that. So, okay. so we, that's, we have that's job number because one. Because there's some of this is like bridge management system. Yeah. Yeah. So what was the cost of that used truck that you were talking about you did find? 19000 or 100000 It's a 2019. <laughs> so most of his lines are now there. I mean, when they find you, I mean, there's one line. There's money here right now. We have a budget to buy that. And that's that's why I was yeah yeah because I haven't done this long enough to know how things work yet. Absolutely. <laughs> so you just had one truck from the Missouri. Yeah, no two. There were two tandems. It was supposed to be one. Because I'm sure it's going to be not even difficult to find used equipment also. Yeah. Especially if we can find the newer used. Because yeah. yeah. we, we got some vehicles over there that are going to be replaced. Yep. Something coming from Lowell and Yeah, that's, that's the word. I do. Thank you. Oh, it was just at, at 8.53 this morning. Well, I, started, I was typing the email part last night, and then I got too tired. And yes, I did. the first weekend in March, we had one of our furnaces um, stop working, and um, we had six furnaces, um, and it was just one end of the hall, and I called Shane Chapman, who normally does, you know, check their stuff out and fixes it, and he came out um, and checked it out and said that the heat exchanger and the end shot burner assembly were all rusted, so and clogged, so he cleaned them out the best he could. And, um, and got it back working for a little bit. A few hours later, it stopped again. So he, um, he came back out. And I think we used heaters that first night. We had thermostat control heaters. Nobody was freezing. They could move to another hall if they wanted to. Um, and then that Monday was commissioner's meeting. Um, so I went there. I only had quotes at the time from Shane. Um, Four different things because it was the weekend, so I wasn't hearing that from, from other people. And it was suggested that we just replace the parts. Shane was able to go get new parts uh, from Linux. They had them in stock. They put them in, and he still could not get it to light. Um, I don't know what all he had to do, but he eventually got it to light. And but then he said, if it stops working one more time, that's it. These units are 16 years old. Um, they were all put in. 2007 when the addition was um, done, and he said they're just they're aging out. So 
So I talked to uh, Troy Halderman from Climate Tech. He came out and he uh, walked around and gave me quotes for furnace by themselves. Um, we have the AC unit condensers also that are the same age. Um, and we already have one of them that was not operational. So I assume that they are also going to start going out. So um, Troy also gave quotes for the whole unit together. Um, and then I also contacted Cody Crawford and Jared Maney at uh, Blue Fox Heating and Cooling. And they came out yesterday and they walked at the building and grounds with me and then sent me a quote yesterday evening. And I provided that there and they tried to do the same um, as far as quoting a unit by itself, furnace AC combo, and um, they put all the warranty information in there as well with their quotes and brands. So 54,138 is from Blue Fox. Is that the budget pricing that, that you mentioned in there? Yeah, I mean, long run, and I know that we have you know, a month-to-month -month issue here, but in the long run, the, the units together, in my opinion, would be the better option um, instead of just replacing the furnace. Could you get but, a discount if you do a long well, run? That, well, not just the, the bulk, yes, you get that discount, but I mean, if we we have one uh, condenser that doesn't work, and then we just have a furnace go out, so if we've got a combo, you know, you're not buying them separately. You're not paying for a furnace now, paying for a right. condenser <coughs> six months from now or whatever if that goes out. So Question. is the air conditioner that's out, is that the combination of one that the, the furnace is out? That or are you, one, are you talking you're going to have to have two combos to do a furnace air and a furnace air? They, Shane didn't even tell me that one of the condensers was not working, so I didn't even know that until yesterday morning that one of them is just sitting up there. Um, so I don't know if those, I'm not sure which part of the building that condenser works because Blue Fox is the one that noticed it. It wasn't noticed by anyone else. So this 9393 is for one cooling and heating. That one is for, yeah, for one, one combo. So probably to fix both brain. of what you need, you're going to need two of those combos to fix the ones that are not Possibly. operating. Yes. I mean, they've been dealing without it for I don't know how long. I mean, the condenser that's not working. If, you know, that was my question. That is, this up, one so. that, is it one that's... Yeah, the the is, summer's coming. The building gets hot anyway, even with the, the AC going, and I don't think they've been going without it for a year or a couple years. Um, I'm not sure how long it's been out, so. Well, me personally, I'm not in favor of being fixing all of them at one time. Right. I mean, not with the cash crunch that we're already wearing and that, but the ones that are non working, I'm in favor of fixing the ones that are non working because you've got to have these. Right, I mean, and, and obviously some of these could run for years, yeah. right, John? I mean, so so uh, what I'm missing here that I don't see is, well, I guess it doesn't matter, but what was the final number for climate tech if they did all seven versus the final number for blue fire? They had a, a quote of 54,000 as well. That's but not interesting. That might, well, because the other one was they gave me a quote on electric work too, and that's not what I'm here for today. I'm here for the, the furnaces. Well, that, and they, I think that they had slid that 54,000, it was 54,000 exactly, in on the electrical pages. So I mean, Well, here, here's the deal on that, though. We've got a bunch of knob and tube out there. Right. And I think, you know, personally that, um, I, I talked to some of these people too, and I heard our first contractor that we dealt with said something about 75,000 to fix the knob and tube, and then Climate Tech said something about less than 10,000. So we got a huge savings with the knob and tube from what I, that's my, right. that's my analysis. And Ray called and gave us like, what is knob and tube? I thought we were wiring. Old-fashioned wiring. Yeah, and, but, but anyway, I mean, that's sorry. I felt like that was separate to the furnace. Yeah. They're just right now because they, well, I mean, Does this have anything to do with the furnace? Nope. Then why are we talking about it? Well, one thing I think. They had offered what she's, her decision is which vendor to use, and one of the vendors is contingent upon them also getting that other work, I believe. Am I correct in that? Not I, really I, don't like, I don't like that. She's got a problem. She's got something that's broke. We need an estimate for what's broke. Because there's no it, way it's not a contingent, okay? Uh, Let's get that straight. 
Okay, so let's talk about the furnace that's broke that needs fixed. And we're looking at, our, am I correct, uh, 99.73 for one, but that's with the furnace and air, or we're looking at 93.93 from Blue Fox, and that's for a furnace and air. Right, and, they, and Blue Fox gave two different, they gave an Ameristar, which is what one of our units already is, uh, quote, and then uh, a Monitor quote, just to have two different brands quoted. But So what's a quote for just the furnace they broke? Um, that one was... black because they have blue coloring so it um, was dark okay. black so I put out but just for the furnace by its and this is from the furnace wood fox okay. um, for the Ameristar furnace um, it would be four thousand two hundred and sixty four dollars and that's what we have out there now Ameristar one of the units is Ameristar everything else is Linux so at some point one of the condensers was replaced. All the furnaces were Linux. Okay. And you have another quote for another um, single furnace? And then for the, another furnace, which was the Blue Fox Silver uh, brand, that one was $4,807. Um, same BTUs, um, a different kind of blower, and less on the, um, the warranty for the replacement. That America. Ameristar was giving um, 20 year heat exchange or registered manufacturer warranty and 10 year parts warranty. Um, the option two, the Blue Fox Silver, they have a new unit if the heat exchanger fails for life, that's there. And a 10 year unit replacement and 10 year parts warranty. That's standard, I think, in the industry. If, if the unit fails 10 years, right. there's a warranty. What I've got from Troy at Climatech is he'll do one furnace for 7714. If, if we just 7,714 the furnace and air combo. We're just doing the furnace. We're not doing the air conditioning? We, we got, she got an air conditioner. But it's not in the same, it's not in the same. She doesn't even know if they don't even know use it. The same uh, circuit or the same hall. So you want it broken out? Yeah, well, let's fix what's broken. One furnace. Thank you. 
printed in one of the offices. You can't dish out money in Africa. So the air conditioner yeah, is 4114 the for the air conditioner. I assume that we're talking about taking this out of the capital fund, correct? Right? Yeah. That's going to have to come out somewhere. Yes. I mean, that's what well, the we capital just, fund was originally. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, so we could advertise up to an amount. We could advertise seventy five hundred, yeah, or five thousand, or pick a number, and we're not, we're not. So let's just advertise, let's just advertise up to five thousand dollars. What we got a broken air conditioner, and we got a broken furnace, right? No, you have a broken air conditioner. She said they don't even know what they use. Right? So okay, it's I'm not going. the air conditioner that's with the furnace that's broke. What do you think? Like, I don't know, I have to look at the schematic or see what the, how it's wired. Um, yeah, let's have a touch. advertise uh, out of the county general uh, in the amount of five thousand dollars and then that way you can break that oh, back furnace yeah okay. I, furnace there furnace no, just furnace that works for me i have to get one It's just, I mean, if somebody wants to make a motion, we can take action. If we don't, it just, it just sits. Come on board. 
court, the process that went through, we didn't even really know what was going on until two weeks later. Anyway, so I told them that the proper way to do this was to advertise the money before you guys really okayed it. But we okayed it, and then we're advertising it. It doesn't matter. We're doing it. So, and we're going to spend it anyhow. So, um, the two prosecutor supplements have already been advertised through the um, Money Hunger series. But also, you guys said to put it in with the, uh, on the salary ordinance under the <coughs> prosecutor. So, I didn't know whether you wanted to do that at County General or should we have done. Um, the 5,000 stipend to the prosecutor and the deputy prosecutor? Yes. I want to take it personally out of the, uh, the trial. Okay. okay, so that one has already been advertised and it's okay. okay. Um, the other secretary was already advertised in 2.192, but the other one, the increase, was not. So I just need, I need clarification on who's getting paid from where. I mean, I don't even know where you're at on here. Well, I'm talking about there's prosecutors. So I think I need to clarify this. Okay. So the the new the two new employees are both paid out of the new fund, the the, the new department. Excuse me. Okay. The and, and whoever is assuming those roles. Have a trial investigator and a trial legal secretary. I'm legal secretary is not one. I'm not even beginning to do the investigator because it wasn't able to be hired at that time, but it was going through the 2.1 million, so right. it's okay. Right. So the other one, the, it's the one that stayed in the prosecutor's office is where I have to get that right. amount. That, so that would still stay as a county general expenditure in the prosecutor's part. In the prosecutor's I'm the reporter here in the county. When this all went through, it was because he was wanting to hire someone that wouldn't come here for the amount that the current secretary would be paid. Is that correct? Yeah. Am I correct on that? Yeah. That person didn't accept the job. No. So we didn't hire anybody new. We were moving somebody that's at a basically clerk's position up to that. So 
she's not only getting a raise from going from a clerk's position to a secretary's position, but she's getting an additional $5,000. So those two $5,000 raises that you gave, mm -hmm. in my opinion, should be null and void. Because you gave the person that was moving from here, down there, an additional 5000 because the one that was coming was well versed in what was going to happen. She could hit the ground running. There was going to be no training. And so, in my opinion, the $5,000 that you approved for both of those positions should go away. I totally agree. Because it didn't come to fruition. We're, we're, we're in the overtime. I understand that. But this is important because you want to know what this does to the morale in this building? And I'm not saying that I'm willing to talk about this. I'm saying we have a, we cannot take other people's meeting time. Like, we have so what, do you, what should we do? We, have, we need to adjourn and, and, and handle this, but we don't necessarily have to approve this or disapprove it. But I'm just saying, like, in general, if, we're, if well, this is going to turn into a long debate, which I, it sounds like it's going to be, like, we don't, we don't have time for that. I, I tend to agree. And, and I... I I understand what you're saying, and, and I agree with that point as well. Uh, individually, I agree with that point. Uh, well, so, I mean, so I have so a that, problem with this because you're going to start paying people. Mm -hmm. We have this discussion. No, about this is my next question: is when are we supposed to pay them? If I do have an offer of employment for them now, but I did not have them, and they were all dated on February 8th. So if you have already authorized. has been posted so now her position's open so if the person that currently works part-time in that office applies for that job then when the trial is all over and said and done and one of these positions goes away somebody's not going to have a job they're supposed to know that but we you think we should know that we took that steps to that's make sure that was disclosed now yeah. Yeah. If you're going to have a special meeting, do you mean adjourn or do you mean recess? Would you want that today? Yeah. Or no, okay, to okay, to okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just wanted to keep you legal. Okay. All right, so we have a motion on the floor to adjourn. We will set up an additional meeting uh, to discuss the prosecutor's office and uh, the salaries therein. Uh, motion by Paul Ryder, seconded can by we, Josh Blue. Can we give this thing for this special session before you adjourn? This is Thursday. Friday. Friday, Monday. Well, it'd be 48 hours. We'd be Monday at noon, I think. I think you could do it verbally if that's what you want. So...
What time are you there? Would you consider this an emergency meeting, Council? No, Tim? I would, I, would, I would not. I don't think so. But you can do two o'clock? I can do one o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, one o'clock. It's just on. Um, one o'clock on Monday? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does that work for you guys? It's okay, Doc. We're bringing our cat in today. So.